Okay. Can you all see me writing? Can you see what I'm writing on the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what is minus two plus negative nine? What is it? Oh. Minus eleven. Good job. I'm sure you were in the last class. Great. Okay. I hope you know who doesn't know how we got minus eleven. Me. I don't. Okay. All right. So that's why we have to follow the classes. Okay. And I think every I think before what well, okay, so what I'm gonna do is before I teach the recording of the last class, I would I would drop on the group so you can follow us. Okay. But for this, okay. how this is gotten is you have minus two plus nine, uh, negative nine. So what you do is I taught on the rules in the last class. You multiply these two signs. So a positive, the rule is a positive times a negative would give us a negative. A negative times a positive will also give us what? A negative. And a negative times a negative will give us a positive. And a positive times a positive will give us what? A positive. Do you see that? So that's the rule for multiplication of signs. All right. And the rule for addition and, sub, uh, you know, subtraction of signs. So the first thing you do is you do what? You multiply these two signs. So positive times negative give, become, gives us negative. So we have a negative nine. We have a negative two. So what do you have now? When you have a negative two and a negative nine, you now have to apply these rules. Which says that when you have a negative and a negative number, okay, what you do is addition. Oh. Right? And when you add them, you take the sign of the bigger number, which is nine, which is still negative. Are you with me? Yes. yes. The same as when you have a positive and positive, that's straightforward, you also do addition. When you have a negative and a positive number, what you do is subtraction. Are you with me? When you have yes. a positive and a negative number coming together, what do you do? You know, because you have two sign numbers. So you will be confused on what should you do? Should you do addition or subtraction? So the rule is when you have a negative negative, you add. And the sign of your answer should take the sign of the bigger number. Okay? Sign of answer takes sign of bigger number all right in subtraction the same thing sign of answer takes sign of what bigger number uh -huh. all right so negative two negative nine you're going to add two and nine you get 11 and the sign will take the sign of nine which is what's negative here you have a negative five plus seven what would be the answer if you were in the last class? 12 plus 2. Um, negative 12. No, no. It's Another not person. Two. It's going to be two. 2. Positive 2. Two. Two. Two, yes. Do you see that? You will follow this rule. This rule says when you have a negative and positive, what do you do? You subtract. You do subtraction. This is a negative and positive you do what subtraction and after you do subtraction you get a two what sign will two take because here you have two signs so you have to pick a sign that two will take two will take the sign of the bigger number and the sign of seven is the sign in front of it which is positive are you with me the yeah. sign of five is the sign in front of it which is negative it's not the sign after it in maths note this that in maths the sign of a number is in front of it and when you don't see a sign just like in this case there's no sign in front of five it means that five is a positive number there's an invisible positive sign there are you following me yes, yes. good okay so here since this is negative, this is positive, we do subtraction, and the answer will take the sign of the bigger number. All right? Now, coming to number four, 
I'm quickly going to explain this, okay, because I don't want to dwell on this. We have other things to do, okay? So, and I think I'm going to give you everyone also maybe assignment or uh, I'll give you five minutes to work on all this. In five minutes, we should be done with all this, okay, following the rules. Now, here, this is a zero plus negative three. Since we have two signs that are close to each other, we have to multiply the signs. That's the first thing you do. You multiply it to, to have a single sign. Okay? Sometimes in maths, you will see they will put a parenthesis like this. Okay? When you see a parenthesis, it's also telling you you have to open up and multiply. Sometimes they don't do it. Like in this case, look at this case here. You can see there's a parenthesis. Okay? But when they don't put a parenthesis, they are telling you that you have to multiply these two signs. And we know that our rule for multipli our rule for multiplication of signs is when a positive multiplies a negative, what will our answer be? It will be a negative. When a negative multiplies, it's like just like when two opposite signs, a positive and a negative, no matter where they, they which which position they are in, when they multiply, you are going to get a negative. Are you with me? And when you have two mm -hmm. The same signs multiplying each other, you're going to have a positive. Is everyone with me? Yes. Am I too fast? No. No, no. Okay. I hope everyone is following. All right. Okay. So here we multiply positive times negative gives us negative. So we have zero minus three. Okay, since we multiply this, this is a negative it gives us. Now, this is zero. This is minus three. All right. What is a positive? Because zero is like a positive. All right. So what is a positive? When you have a positive and a negative, what do you do? Subtraction. What do you do? Subtraction. Subtract. Right. And when you subtract zero from anything, it will still be the same number, right? It's going to be three. Right. Minus yes. three or yeah. simple so, three? Aha, uh -huh, good. So since it's three, which is the bigger number? Three, right? Yeah. So it will carry, the answer will take a negative three. Do we see that? Yeah. Just follow me closely, okay? Here, another example. Don't worry, I think I'll do... I'm going to solve all this to 17. Then you, got, everyone will do this by themselves. Okay? Now, look at 5. 5 plus negative 5. We have to multiply these two signs. Positive times negative gives us what? Negative. So we have 5 minus 5. So what will 5 minus 5 be? Zero. Zero. So our answer here is zero. Now, look at this. A negative 9 plus 5. What do we do? Which rule do we apply? This Mine. one. Right? So we subtract, right? Yeah. When we subtract, yeah. what do we have? We have a four. Minus four. Good. Yeah. So the sign will take the sign of the bigger number, which is what negative. So we have minus four. So here, what do we have? This is a negative one plus eight. What do we do? We do what? Subtraction, right? Mm -hmm. So we subtract one from eight. So don't be confused. If one one the smaller number comes before the bigger number don't be confused about that okay what you're looking at positive when it comes seven to, good good job positive seven but what you're looking at is i know some people might be confused oh the smaller number is coming before the bigger number you know i know some of my students i tutor privately one-on-one -on -one, do complain about that why in it teachers you don't look at the big and small you look at the signs you treat them with the signs okay well, you have okay. just with sides. You treat them with sides. It doesn't matter if the smaller one comes first or the bigger one comes last. Okay, or the bigger one comes first or the smaller one comes last. It doesn't matter. You're looking at the sign of the number. Here, this is negative one. This is positive eight. So when you have a negative and positive number, you just come to the rules of maths. Maths is all about following rules. Just like you have pandas, you have, you know... Uh, factorization, you have quadratic formula. It's all about the formula. It's all about a rule that you follow. You get my point? So this is these are the rules that you follow that I, I explained in the first class. So what do you do when you
you have a negative and positive number, you subtract. All right. And when you finish subtracting, you now check. Since I have two signs here, which sign will my answer finally take? Because it has to pick. Okay. It's just like a mother and father coming together. You know, the child picks something. You will see in some of your children that, oh, this is my husband, more of my husband's trait. You will see some people, uh, some of the, maybe your daughter is more of me. This is me. This is me. It's more of me. You get my point? So that's the way this selects. Okay. So it selects the bigger number, the sign of the bigger number. So the sign of the eight is what positive. All right. So that's how our final answer is a positive seven. Now here, this is negative seven positive, negative eight. These two signs, we have two signs. We have to make it one. To make it one, we multiply the two signs. Positive times negative gives us what? Negative. Okay? So we are finally left with negative seven, negative eight. So what is negative seven, negative eight? We come to our rule. When we have two negative numbers, what do we do? We add. So we have seven plus eight. It gives us what? Negative 15. So we have negative 15 as our answer. Are you with me? Yes. So, so here it says negative 8 plus 7. What do we do? We do subtraction. We take away 7 from it. We get a 1. What would be the sign of 1? It would be the sign of the bigger number, which is what? Negative. We come here. This is a negative 5 plus 8. What do we do? We do what? We subtract because we have opposite signs, no negative and positive. When we subtract five from eight, we get a three. What would the sign? What would the sign of three be? It would be the sign of the bigger number, which is what? Positive. So we have our answer as positive three. We come here. This is a positive six. I told you when you don't see a sign in front of a number, it means it's a positive number. So this is a positive six plus negative five. It means that we have to multiply these two signs. When we multiply these two signs, we get the negative. Are you with me? We get a negative, yeah. so we now have a positive 6, negative 5. When we have a positive and negative, what do we do? We subtract. Subtract 5 from 6, we get a 1. And what would the sign be? The sign of the bigger number is going to be positive. Is everyone with me? Yes. It's just one person speaking. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so here, this is also a positive number. This, we have two signs, we multiply it to give us one sign. So we have now a positive 10, negative two. What do we do? We subtract, because there are two opposite signs, we subtract them, we get eight. What would the sign of eight be? The sign of the bigger number, which is what? Positive. positive. The same thing here, we have, positive 10 plus this, we, we multiply this sign, we have negative, this is a positive 10, negative 9. We do what? We subtract, we get a 1, and the sign will be what? A positive. Now here, what do we have? A negative 6 plus 7. What do we do? We follow this rule, we subtract, and we have a 1. What would the sign of 1 be? It would be the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. Do we see that? Yes. Okay, now I want us quickly, in 10 minutes before we go to our next class, in 10 minutes, because this is a revision of what we, do the la we did with the last class, in 10 minutes, I want everyone to work on this. In 10 minutes, you should be able to finish this up. I can't, I can't see it. Um, can you, like, bring it out? Oh. oh okay, one minute. I think I should be able to. Oh, that's about 30. Oh. I need to clear this. Can I clear the screen? Have you yes. written all this? Yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Um, thank you. Yes, much better. Thank you. Aha. All right. So in 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes, okay. Yeah, you can do it in 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs>
Yes, how we do it? Are we done? Yes, uh, we're done. Come here. Oh, you're done, Mohammed. Which of us? Four. Four. Okay. <coughs> yes, my also same answer, ma'am. You're done. Yes. Malik. Yes, yes. Okay. Which other person? Christina, are you done? No, I'm at four. Oh wow. Okay. Hey, what happened to the screen? Hmm. Okay, we have to move forward. So let's do it together. Okay. Okay. All right. So here, this is four minus seven. What did you get? Minus two. Minus three. Good minus job. Three. Minus three. Minus three. Okay. Because this four here is positive. So when you have a positive and a negative, you do what? You do addition, uh, add subtraction, subtraction. subtraction. And the sign will take the sign of a bigger number. So what did we get here? Minus three. <laughs> Minus 11. Minus 11. 11. 11. Minus 11. Great job. What about here? <coughs> Minus 11. No. Plus 38. No. Plus 38. Good. Plus 38. Okay. <laughs> because negative multiplies negative to give you what? Positive. Okay. From our rule, remember, negative multiplies negative to give you positive. So you have 25 plus 13, and it gives you a positive 38. What about number four? What about number it will four? Be, it will be minus uh, 18. Negative Good. Eight. Negative eighteen. All right. What about five? Negative eighteen. No. Mm. Zero. Well, zero. zero. Good. Good job. Oh, Seems sorry, sorry, sorry. I just forgot the rule. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, guess, I okay. just forgot the rule. It's okay. It's okay. We are all here to learn. So negative multiply negative gives you positive. So you have negative nine, positive nine. And when you, it means we have to do subtraction. And when we subtract, we get a zero. Okay. Now, what is this? What's the answer for this? 18. Minus, negative 18. Negative, negative 18. 18. Negative 18. Okay. Not just 18. You have to put the sign. Because if you don't know this, when you start getting into algebra, when you start needing to have to, sub, uh, let's say for instance, you have like uh, an algebraic expression, negative 18x, negative 9x. You will see this. Are you with me? It's the same principle that you apply to this. That's what you apply to this. When the letter starts coming in. That's why this is very fundamental in algebra. In fact, why most people fail the GED math is because of this. Because the examiners know the mistakes that you're going to make. Are you with me? And those mistakes will yes, be yes, okay. those mistakes will be in your options as an answer. So if you just quickly get an answer, and, and you just say, "Oh, ah, negative eighteen and this," oh, I think we need to we need to subtract, and you just put, uh, what would this give us? I think that would, that would give us a, a nine, and you just put a positive a nine. Okay, you would see a nine in your option because they know that these are the mistakes that students do make. Okay, so th okay. that is why it is very important yeah. that you get this foundation. Very key. All right. So, what is the answer to this quickly? Negative twenty-seven. Good. Maybe. Negative twenty-seven. Yeah. We are going to add because this is negative. Negative twenty-seven. Yes, correct. What about this? Positive, positive four. It will be positive four, four. four. Good. What about this? Positive four. Good. What about this? Negative two. Negative two. two. Good. Negative two. What about this? Negative two. Minus. Maybe. Negative Minus eighteen. Eight. Negative twenty-eight. No, sorry. Negative twenty-eight. Sorry, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> what about this? Negative. Negative eighteen. No. Twenty-eight. 
negative 28. 28. Okay, because this times this gives you negative. So it's also a negative yeah. 23, negative 5. Mm -hmm. So negative 28. What about this? Okay. 15. Positive. Positive 15. Good. Quickly, what about this? Um, three. So three. Positive three. Positive three. Positive three. What about this? Negative 21. Great job. Negative 21. What about this? 21. Positive 21. Positive 21. Tell me the signs. Tell me the signs. Okay, not just the answer. Okay, okay. what about this? Negative 14. Good. Negative 14. What about this? Positive 18. Positive 18. Good job. What about this? Positive 18. Not negative. Negative. Ne negative. Negative. 18. Negative 18. Because 23 is taking the biggest, biggest uh, yes, sign. Yes. Okay. What about this? Negative 37. Great job. Negative 37. Good. What about this? Negative, negative four. 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 Yes, negative four. What about this? Positive thirty-seven. Negative no. four. Negative four. Look at four. it. This eleven here is positive. So a positive eleven, negative fifteen means we will subtract. Don't forget your rules, okay? When you have opposite signs, you subtract. All right? Okay. What about this? That one is um positive eight. eight. Positive Good. eight. Positive eight. What about this? Negative, negative 14. fourteen. Good. Negative fourteen. What about this? Negative twenty. Uh, negative twenty-eight. Good. Negative twenty-eight. What about this? Positive. One. Positive one. Good one. job. Positive, positive one. one. Great, great job, everyone. Good, 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 good. Okay, so quickly, I'm gonna go. Ma'am, the last question is thirty minus seven into minus into minus eight. How it will come? Be uh, last one. Which last one? Yes. Last thirty question. Is it this one? Yes. Yeah. So this is negative times negative. It gives you positive. So you have negative okay, seven okay, 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 positive okay, okay, okay. eight. So it gives you what a positive one. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So can we go forward? Yes, Miss. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. So today's class we're looking at multiplication and division and multiplication. Okay. So when you have this now, you have parentheses back to back. It means you are to multiply. All right. You don't have any like it's not addition or subtraction. You have to multiply. And how do you multiply? We follow the rules, okay? Which we know that negative times positive. A positive times negative gives us what? A negative. It is also the same for division. A negative number divided by a positive number a positive number divided by a negative number also gives us what? A minus, a negative answer. Yeah. Can, we, can we mute our microphones, please? Background noise. So here... Let me quickly go mute the person. Okay. All right, so here... When you have a negative times a negative, a positive times a positive, it gives you what? Positive. The same thing when you have a negative. Number. It gives you what? A positive. So please, everyone write down these rules. This is the rule for, for multiplication. What is that sign? Um... Which one? Okay. Um, negative multiply positive. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Oh, positive. oh equal to negative. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Equal. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Equal. Uh -huh. okay. Sorry. 
all right mm -hmm. okay so from here now what i always advise people to do is first of all multiply the numbers okay And, or you can multiply the numbers with the sign together. So here you have positive three times negative eight. Minus twenty-four. What is it? Three times eight. Twenty-four. 20, twenty-four. Minus twenty-four. Twenty-four. So what would the sign be? What would be? So you write twenty-four. Never. Then the minus. sign is minus. Then minus. Uh, yeah. Then you now say negative 24. Then now minus negative 2. What would that give us? 48, it will be 48. Minus 48. Minus 48. No. no, no, plus 48. Plus, plus 48. Yeah, yeah, minus, minus, plus. Plus 48. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it will be what? Plus 48. Plus 48. This will be our answer, plus 48. Now look at this. This is a negative 3 times a negative 8. Okay, 3 times 8 is 24. But what is negative times negative? It gives us what? Plus. Okay, plus. okay. Plus so we have positive 24. Then finally times a negative 2. Positive 24 times a negative 2. And what does that plus give us? Eight. No, minus. It's negative 48. Negative 48. Because yeah. positive times negative is what? Negative. Negative. Oh. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, yes. I want us to get comfortable with these signs. You have to be very comfortable with it. Okay, and the signs are very important. Yes, because if you get a sign wrong, you get the whole math question. You wrong. get the whole answer wrong, and the funniest yeah. thing is that that answer yeah. would be in your options. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and it can take out. They give us two options: a positive or also a negative option. If yeah. you if you got a positive op option and option is a negative, then we have the all wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the whole thing is this. Are you with me? So you yes. have to be very careful. <laughs> yes. So you have to you yes, have to solve yes. rules. Okay. So here our answer here is negative forty-eight. Now, can you guys quickly do this too? Quickly, yes. number three and four. Let's quickly do this. Two. Okay. <laughs> the answer is negative 30. Bro, don't use the calculator, bro. No, I am not using calculator, bro. <laughs> Man is 30? Yes. No, ma'am, it's a um, negative sixty minus sixty. Okay, all right, negative okay. sixty is all right. Okay, all right, so let's look at this. This is negative one times two. This is a positive two. So negative one times a positive two is a positive two, right? 
Now, right. yes. positive 2 times a negative 3. That will give us a negative 6. 6? Six. Negative 6? Okay. Yeah. Now, negative 6 negative times a positive 2. <laughs> what would that give us? A negative 12. 12 minus. Right. Uh, too many people talking. They're going to be able to hear. Yeah. Miss, can we, can we um, reduce the noise in the background? Okay. Thank you. So, a negative 6 times a positive 2 We give us a negative what? 12. Are we? Mm. Are we now, then what is a negative 12 times a negative 5? A negative 12 times a negative positive six. It's a positive 60. Positive, positive 60. 60. Oh, she multiplied the signs. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. What's the answer to this? It's zero. Any other answer? When you multiply any number by zero, zero, right? Okay, that's your answer, but is there any other answer? Wait for a while, ma'am. Uh, it is positive 81. Okay, I, I, I did that purpose. I can confuse people. It is zero, okay? <laughs> zero, ma'am. Yeah, it is zero. It's zero, okay? The... Are you with yeah. me? Because there's a zero here and everything is multiplication. So anything minus zero is zero. All right. You see math. Yeah. yeah. The option you will see zero. The option you will see 81. The option you will see positive 81. <coughs> so if if you are so fast and so maybe very tense, you don't look very well, you will just multiply this and you skip the zero and you just go to your to 81. <laughs> are you with me? So we have yes, yes. all right. Now let's look, look at this divisions. <coughs> let's look at this. This says 18 divided by a negative three. So that's 18 uh, over a negative minus three. Six. Good. It will give us a minus six because this is positive. Remember, I told you. When you have a positive number divided by a negative number, the sign will be negative. Okay? When you divide 18 by 3, it gives you 6. Then the sign will take a negative. This is a negative 30 divided by a positive 5. All right? Negative 6. Yes, a negative 6. Okay? Yeah. What would the answer of this be? Positive 5. Positive 5. Good. Good job. What would the answer for this be? Uh, negative 5. Negative 10. No, negative no, 10. ten. Good. Negative 10. Because 4 times 5 is what? 6. six, 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 six. six. The negative what, mine, times minus 6 is a negative 6. Then when you divide the positive and negative, your answer will be a negative. And 60 divided by 6 gives you what? 10. Do you see that? Now, what is the answer to this? Four. Okay, someone says four. Any other <laughs> Negative four. Okay, another person says negative four. Any other answer? Okay, someone uh, says three. Is three. Any, any other answer? Yeah. Negative three. It's minus okay, three. Another person says minus three. Any other answer? Negative three. Okay, negative three. Okay. Now look at this. 
16 times negative 3, all right, what would it give us? Negative 48. Good. Negative 48. Negative 48. Over what is a negative 2, because this is a parenthesis, times a negative negative 8 times a negative 2. What would it give us? Positive 16. Positive Good. 16. Positive 16. Now, what is 48 divided by 16? Negative three, three. Three. Minus three. 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 Then when you have a negative and a positive number, you have what? Negative. negative. Okay? So you can see our answer is a yes. negative three. All right? Yes. All right, can we try this final one, everyone? It's 20. Okay, someone says 20. Twenty. Another person says twenty. Yes, it is twenty. Another person twenty. Any other person? Twenty. Twenty. Positive twenty. Positive twenty. Good. So we have here four times negative uh, <coughs> 4, that's a negative 12, then times a positive 2 gives us a negative 24, the negative 24 times a positive 5 gives us a negative 120, okay? And we now divide by negative 6. 120 divided by 6 gives us 20, and remember, when you have two negative signs dividing each other, well, it's going to give us a positive. Okay? <laughs> it's just like this negative will just cancel out to give us what a positive, following this rule. Okay? Is everyone with me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Please, can you reduce the noise on your background? I don't know where that noise is coming from. I think it's from Malik. Malik, you can switch, uh, you know, mute your microphones, please help us, help everyone. All right, so uh, let me clear the screen and just give you some things to do because our time is almost uh, up. All right, let us go through. Okay, so these are some things. There's product, there's difference, there's some. But quickly, in the next 10 minutes, I want us to do this. Can you please zoom in? Okay, I will. Yeah, yes, please. Okay, in the next 10 minutes, everyone work on this. Then I'll give you this as homework. All of it? No, 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 just from here to here. This one's. All right? Okay. Yes, fine.
I see someone asking, do we have to solve this? Did you just join the class? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, we have to solve this. Okay. okay. This part, okay. I, I just gave like 10 minutes. Yep. Okay.
How are we doing? What number are we on? Ma'am, uh, first answer is minus uh, negative seven. Okay. And the first one is negative seven. Okay. So this negative seven, good. What about this? Positive, Positive seven. seven. Positive seven. Good. What about this? Minus negative one, one sixty eight. Good. Did this? Nine. Minus fourteen. Ah? Huh? Positive twelve. Minus fourteen. It, it positive, positive twelve. 12. Positive twelve. Yes. Positive twelve. What about this? Uh, negative fifteen. Negative seven. Negative five. Negative seventeen. Yes. Negative seventeen. What about this? Positive, Plus nine. Positive, positive nine. nine. Positive nine. Positive nine. This. Um, minus 15. Yeah, minus 15, negative 15. What about this? Zero. Zero. It's good. Zero. Good. What about this? 24. Plus 24. Huh? Positive 24. Minus, minus 4. No. Plus, plus. Negative. Positive oh, yeah. 24. Positive 24. No. Positive 24. Yes. Remember, negative times yeah, negative. I said that. Positive. Negative, oh, yeah. okay. I didn't hear you. Sorry, sorry. I didn't hear you. Sorry. So, positive 24. So, what about this? Mm -hmm. 13. Huh? 12. Minus 14. Negative 12. Positive 12. Okay. What about this? Ne negative 15. Good. This? Negative 19. Negative 19. Good. Negative plus. 19. Not plus. Negative 19. Negative 19. Negative okay. 2. This is what? Negative 2. This is 2. Positive no. 2. Positive, positive 2. two. It's positive. positive. It's positive too. What about this? Yeah. Positive one. Good. Positive one. Eleven. Positive eleven. Because this is eleven divided by one. Positive eleven. Okay. It's positive one. Positive two. Two. Positive two. Good. What about this? Positive nineteen. Positive nineteen. Good. This negative three. Negative three. Good. Negative three. Negative three. This um, positive one hundred eighty. No, not positive. Negative. Negative. Negative, negative one eighty. Okay. One is it eighty? Okay. Yes. What about this? Negative ten. Negative ten. Good. Negative ten. <laughs> what about this? Negative six. negative six. Good. Negative six. What about this? Positive seven. Positive seven. No. no. Negative seven. Negative oh. seven. Fifteen. How is can we positive? You negative. I am positive. Okay. Negative. Okay. Negative. okay. Uh -huh. Are you with 13? me? Thirteen. Yes. Positive thirteen. Yeah. Positive thirteen. Yeah, positive 13. Yeah, positive 13. Yeah, positive 13. Good. What about positive. this? Positive eight. Positive eight. Good. What it's, about this? Uh, 91. Positive positive 91. 91. 91. And what about this? Positive 40. 40 is positive 40. 40. Positive 40. Good job. Good job, everyone. So you can see <laughs> we have to practice more of this. Okay? So I'm going to yep. send this as homework for today. Okay? All this, I'll send okay. it on the groups. All right? Okay. So I appreciate everyone for being you know for being class today i truly truly appreciate you and uh i would see you i'm not sure about the rla class tomorrow okay the teacher is on break on holiday so she's um uh, she's saying she might be around she might not be around i'm not that sure okay but I'll, we're gonna let you know on the group all right so uh we're not gonna have classes next week because you know it's a new year everyone is on break 
but we're going to start on the 8th of January. All right? Okay. On the 8th of okay, January, that okay. week, we're going to start back. All right? Okay. Yeah, Just okay. keep Thank you. in the group chat so we're going to know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so what we're doing is, uh, as I've announced earlier, maybe some of you were not here earlier on. So um, from the month of January, we want to start paid classes. So uh, I announced earlier that the paid classes are like $30 a month, but we're looking at dropping it. So even if it's $20 a month for all your subjects and uh, the free classes will be done, but it will be just done once in a month. That will be like the last Friday or the last week of the month. That's when we'll have free classes from January, the last Friday, but from eight, of January, if uh, you want to attend the tutorials every day, because we're uh -huh. gonna make it every day, the charge is gonna be $20. Uh, for you in the, in the US, we receive payment by Zelle. For students in uh, maybe in Neyman or Thailand or Yagon, uh, we receive- uh, Pakistan payment. also. Aha, uh -huh. we, would, we would share the payment details on the group. Okay, so okay, ma'am. So I just wanted to announce announce that because you will see the information that will be posted on the group because definitely as teachers, uh, you know, teachers have to get paid. <laughs> so you know mm -hmm. they survive and all that. Yeah, we definitely. have to get paid. So we feel twenty dollars is it's it's fair enough per month. Yeah. It's fair enough per month. That's what we feel for all the subjects. So all the timetable for the paid classes will be shared. And, uh, you know, after payment is being made, you are, uh, we put you in a new group, which is the paid group where everything's materials, assignments, and class links will be sent, video recordings of the classes will be sent in that group. Or if you're in the general group, free classes will still continue, but we're just going to do it once a month. And that will be like the last Friday of the month. All teachers will just teach and that will be it for the free classes. All right, so thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, I wish you all the best. I wish you a happy new year in case we don't see till next year. I wish you a happy new year. And I wish you progress, progress in life. I know this is one step you want to um, achieve. And, you know, conquer and cross through to another greater uh, prospect in your life. Prospects in career. Maybe you want to advance your school, you know. I wish you success in it. And uh, yes, you've started. Don't look down on yourself. I have failed, I've failed. Just continue, never give up. What I try to teach my kids is, uh, you know, they say, oh, you're a winner. I'm a winner. You're a loser and all that. I said, and I tell them that the only person who is a loser is the person who fails and doesn't get up back. Yes. That is you are a loser. A winner is someone who fails and gets up back. That is a winner. He never gives up. She never gives up. That is the winner mentality. So even if you fail the GED maths four times, five times, the RLA, whichever time, as far as you're still coming back, you are a winner and you will surely win. Okay? So uh, I'm just encouraging everyone. That's what I'm saying. So please do uh stay encouraged don't be defeated and never give up all right everyone thank okay. you thank you thank you thank you, thank you very much thank you man okay. Good Good bye. Bye. Thank you. have a nice day bye bye all right